my great pleasure to introduce Annette Kass. Annette is the Neighbourhood Care Network Urunga and Coastal Villages Area Coordinator. She lives here. She's been working tirelessly with a group of people on organising this event. And she's got a couple of um, messages and, and some information to talk about locally before we kick into the other presentations. Thanks, Annette. Well, 
I think this is a call out to make sure that those people that I've just spoken about are connected into those neighbourhood groups. Because um, the NCN ethos is all about neighbours helping neighbours, always has been. So at that neighbourhood level, if we're connected, then people are much more likely to reach out and put their hand up when they need some help. So as we know, for some people it can be very hard to um, ask for help, but it'll be so much easier if they know who's next door and get to know them. Um, so the NCN novel, um, the NCN model, as Kerry was saying, is based on those ideas of neighbours being able to rely on neighbours helping each other during and between emergencies. That's what the NCN focus has always been and continues to be. Now, look, I know there's lots out again, as Kerry said, you've <laughs> introduced a lot of my points, which is great. Um, there's lots of neighbourly groups out there. Yurunga's a very friendly place. I've only been here less than three years and I'm, I just love it. I love that I can easily um, connect up with people. Um, it's fantastic. But what we're doing is really just inviting you to be a little bit more organised about it. So it's not only about knowing your neighbours and having fun with them. What we're asking is that you actually have a plan in place with those neighbours to get messages out to each other when needed. So we can't prescribe how groups behave. We're not here to do that. It's totally up to each individual group what they, um, what and how they decide to organise themselves and how involved they are in those connections. All we're doing is simply offering you a model of how to connect the community up through the establishment of those um, neighbourhood groups and the communication plan. Um, again, as um, Steve mentioned, resilient communities, and I'll use some of his words, I, what we know, what the research tells us, is a resilient community is more prepared, they can withstand difficult circumstances, and they recover more quickly, similar to what Steve said. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I am new to the area, so uh, you know, there's a lot I don't know about that kind of local stuff, and um, so when I first took on this role from Joe Brotherton, can't see where Joe is, um, I um, established an um, advisory group and that's a group of um, people that live locally here in Urunda and Rally and surrounding areas. And <coughs> the, the, these guys are all busy people, they're um, working and or wear many volunteer hats. Um, They've given up their time to be part of it, and I really value their um, their knowledge, their local knowledge. They guide and support the work that we're doing in the NCN, and I really want to acknowledge and thank them for that. So, um, the other thing about some of the people on that group, they've also put their hand up to be local coordinators. So, I'd like to introduce those because I think it's really good to lift their profile. So, I'd like um, my group, if you, those that are here, they're a bit shy, just to at least come along the side, so because it's much easier for people just to turn to the side and get to know you, and I want to introduce you. So we've got Marie. Marie, put your hand up. So Marie Batchelor is the local coordinator for the Snapper Beach Estate that's out near Osprey Drive. Then we've got Vanessa. No, I'm sorry, how would you? <laughs> From, you're not in the order on my page. <laughs> That's all right. Sorry, Janine, Janine Kerry. Janine lives out at Rally and she's focusing on the um, Gordon Road in Rally. Next, there's um, Vanessa and Chris Hogan. They're um, local coordinators in the Fury Island Village. Brother 
Tim. Oh, there she is. Hi, Joe. So, um, Joe's been um, mentioned earlier. So, and Joe, when she can, she um, sits on the comments, comes and sits on the um, during the meetings as well. And I just want to say, Joe is an absolute champion um, of the NCN. Always has been and continues to be. And we're really grateful for her support. Um, also, um, on on that group that um, comes to the meetings is a representative from the um, Bellington Shire. But, um, Sunny, are you here? Yep, there he's down there in the corner. <laughs> and so he's on the resilience team. So, and he comes to sit as an associate member. Thank you. And, and finally, I want to um, mention the NCN Hub. So um, Kerry mentioned the NCN Hub. There's um, Kerry, Jane and Ian, and they, work, they um, are located at Bellingen. So they've been um, tremendous in um, offering support to us as well. So I very quickly just want to um, say what local coordinators will be doing. So in their neighbourhood, they'll be making contact with people in their neighbourhood. Um, and essentially inviting them along to um, work with each other um, around how you can help each other during and between emergencies. That's pretty much what they'll do. And of course, prepare a communication plan as part of that. I think the best place to do this because that's at the grass um, roots level and they know their local neighbourhoods. So finally, you can see that not all of Urunga is covered. There's so much more. Um, so many other areas um, across Urunga where we need local coordinators. So I'm starting the call out here for um, local coordinators. So if you're interested in, in the idea of being a local coordinator in your area, come and um, talk to myself or any of those local coordinators that I'll be introduced um, afterwards. Or if you want to go away and think about it, you can ring us on the NCN phone number that will come up shortly. And or go on and um, um, register on the NCN, and you can um, just tick the box to say you're interested in being a local coordinator. So I think that's about it. But even if you're not interested, you can still um, sign up on the NCN and get the alerts. Thank you, everyone. Thanks very much, Annette. Um, Giving people lots to think about. It's my pleasure to introduce Ian Gilmore, who's um, getting the tech stuff going for us. And he's been working on preparing some <coughs> maps with data from Bellingen Shire Council and the Bureau of Meteorology and various other places that uh, help us understand what might happen in different floods depending on the inundation level. And it's, it's, every flood is different, as we all know, and it depends on stormwater blockages and a whole lot of other things. But starting to get some practical information around what would things look like here um, with a really big flood. And he'll talk about that a bit more. And he and Annette and the museum also did a trawl. And thank you also to Adrian Lipscomb, who the things here for providing some historical photos to help us collectively get a handle on what has happened here before and what is very likely to happen again. <laughs>